Hi, I'm Marvin McKenzie. I'm the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Puyallup, Washington. I've been uh, doing a series of episodes that have to do with why I use the King James Version of the Bible. Let me start out by reading a passage of Scripture. This passage is 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verses, uh, just going to read verses 9 and 10. The Bible says, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Um, I've, as I've been preparing for these, hey, I just saw my son is now watching this, this video. Um, so as I've been preparing for these little why I use the King James Version episodes, uh, I've been looking at some material. And one of the things that, um, that I see, one of the objections, one of the things that keep, people keep bringing up is, well, if the King James Version is the preserved, infallible, and inerrant, and inerrant word of God, what did people do before they had the King James? What do, were, did, does that mean that nobody had a perfect Bible previous uh, to, the, to the completion of the King James version of the Bible. Now, uh, there's a few things that I'd like to kind of, uh, you know, kind of lay a foundation with that. First of all, um, uh, God has, God's word has been in a process, in a progression of development since the very beginning. Um, if you think about it, um, the, the children of Israel never had a perfect word of God because the New Testament wasn't finished. Um, the apostles didn't ever have a perfect word of God because the New Testament wasn't finished. The Bible says when that which is perfect shall come. And uh, many, many Bible believers, myself included, uh, take that to be the Bible. And when the Bible is finished, there's some things that we know in part and we prophesy in part and there's some things that we can know, but we but we don't know all of God's truth until we have the entire word of God. And, and so for really the history of mankind, there hasn't ever been a perfect word of God until the King James Version of the Bible. And uh, so what does that mean? Does that mean that People were, um, uh, I mean, uh, incapable of being blessed by God, incapable of having direction from God. Well, um, it does mean that the children of Israel were flawed in their theological thinking because uh, they assumed they took what they had, the part that they had, and they built it into more, and they built doctrines that were incomplete because of it. And, and um, so somewhat, you know, the first thing that we do is we'd say, well, is it fair? Is this, is this fair that we would say that now we have the perfect word of God, the complete word of God, and no one else did uh, in history before us? Well, think about this. Um, God gave his word to Israel. He didn't give his word to the Gentile nations around him. He didn't give them to the, to the Greeks. He didn't give it to the Romans. He didn't give it to, uh, he didn't give it to the, uh, uh, to the, to the Babylonians. God gave his word to the Jews. And it was through the Jews. And God chose out this one people and he began to give the word of God through them. And so um, it's it, to me, it's not that big a deal that God would um, say, no, I'm going to choose one people and I'm going to progress and give them a part, uh, a, a partial understanding of the word of God. And it's going to progress through the course of time. We as human beings, we have this uh, sense of fairness and we try to put God in our box of fairness. And God has to fit how we think things should be done. And uh, if we've got the perfect word of God today, then it's not fair that someone else wouldn't have had the perfect word of God. And and then the question would come up as well, wait a minute, wait a minute. If uh, the King James Version is the perfect word of God and there's no perfect word of God in other language, in any other language, well, that's not fair. Why would God give the perfect word of God in the only the English language? And this fairness issue isn't, uh, really is, is man's, it's a humanistic man-centered kind of thinking, not really a God-centered kind of thinking. God can do as God pleases. Fact of the matter is, throughout history, any human being who wanted to could have gone to the God of the Jews. Uh, there, there was open. And there was an opportunity for them to to uh, to come into the Jewish system if they wanted to if they had wanted to do that and and when uh, Jesus came while he came predominantly to the Jews there were Gentiles who were given opportunity at the same time and while the early apostles the first apostles uh, went specifically to the Jews there was also an apostle that was called to work with the Gentile people and and there has always been an opportunity to come to God if you want to come to God. So a person say, well, you know, uh, they, it, the Bible says it's only in English. That's not fair. 
the perfect word of God. It's only in English that's not fair. No, anyone who wants, anyone who chooses can get a King James Version of the Bible and can learn the English language and can study the, the, the King James and study the, the perfect word of God that's found in the King James Version of the Bible. So was there a perfect Bible previous to the to the King James Version? Um, I don't think so. I think there was a process. I think the process started out with the the first of all the development of all of the books of the Bible as God gave to uh, individual prophets one book after the other, and then to the New Testament one epistle, one gospel after the other, and one epistle after the other, until finally the 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 um, the collection of the uh, manuscripts was complete and we and we had all of the word of God and then there was a process that took place is because early on uh, Christians before the printing press many Christians would only have portions of the Bible they'd be you know scattered around the world in their day and they just have portions of the word of God and they would study the word of God and they would live for the word to according to the word of God and they would believe the word of God but they didn't have all of the word of God and it really wasn't until uh, the um, invention of the printing press that all of a sudden now there's now we can have the Bible collated put in one place and and mass produce it so that many many people can have uh, copies of the word of God and once that was accomplished now there's the process that goes on of getting it into one language and then getting it into the English language it was originally the mass majority text in the Texas Receptus and and um, and and getting it into uh, getting all of the manuscripts compiled into one document and then changing cha uh, translating that one one document into the English language and then uh, translating or uh, then perfecting and purifying that work in the English language until we come to uh, the King James Version purified seven times. No, uh, people previous to the King James Version didn't have the perfect word of God, but they had what God wanted them to have for their time. And they could have sought the Lord, and many of them did, of course, with what God gave them. And uh, they weren't any less equipped than the Jews were when they had the um, the Old Testament, but they didn't have the New Testament. They weren't any, these believers who had who had a Bible that was in the process of purification had all that they needed to seek the Lord and to follow the Lord until the Bible was completed. Uh, I'm Marvin McKenzie. I'm pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Puyallup, Washington. And you can find us on the website. Our website is www.puyallupbaptistchurch.com.